Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Figured since I got the vacuum out, I might as well just do it. So go down there. So got this out, got the vacuum here. I'll show you guys why I wanna do this. Oh wait. Oh jeez, good thing I got good abs. Good thing I got a 12 pack of abs. Anyway, you will need a 19 millimeter wrench. I believe all of them should be the same. So, if you can see, there's my drain plug, and that is directly below my drain plug. So, so this is why I wanted to do it. I hope it'll work. Um, but I want to do it so that I don't have to take this whole shield off. This whole shield. It's all these screws. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14 screws. So, that's why I'm doing it. Um, so I don't have to take out all these screws to take this thing out to just to drop the drain plug. So, this video, you're going to see basically just the install. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the truck. Pull a vacuum on it, put this thing in here, just checking it out, okay, it should be good, I was thinking that maybe it might not fit to put the little piece in, but anyway, it will, so I'm going to go get the wife, set this up, same thing, pull vacuum, pull this out, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the vacuum should hold the oil in, and then uh, uh, put this one in real quick. So, anyway, let me go get the wife, let her know I'm all set up, ready to go. Oh, she can hold the vacuum. So, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it'll pull oil, pull the vacuum. So, I'll be back. Yeah, you're good. That's it, thank you. Alright guys, so that's it for the install of this one, my, my drain plug and washer right here, so let me get out from under here and give you guys a part number and uh, get all cramped up, so anyway, let me go get the part number and all that stuff, and like I said, tomorrow I'll probably drive this and then I'll actually test out the product stick it in there see how it does so let me uh get off from under the car all right off from under the car here's my old drain plug it's another reason why i wanted to put this on because these drain plugs are dumb 
the Audi. I don't know if it's an Allen wrench. I don't know if it's a torque wrench or Torx. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's always stripped out. So as you can see, so it's not an 8mm. It could be a 6mm, but I don't know. It doesn't fit. I stuck a 6 in there, and it just spun. So... I believe it's a six millimeter when they're brand new, but now I don't have to worry about it because now I don't have to replace it. So now all I got to do is stick this little chingy in there and uh, that's it. Stick it in, turn it like 45 degrees, boop, drain the oil. So you'll probably see that video tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, yeah, stick this with my drain plugs that I got up there. So, anywho, that's done. I'm going to go eat some uh, lunch. And, uh, oh, yeah, this is the part number right there. This is the M14 by 1.5, so it's 14 millimeter thread with a 1.5 thread pitch. It's so SB dash SB two ten two eleven S dash N A. So, and then this was the uh, four eleven four eleven for the truck and two eleven for the Audi. So it says max torque eighteen foot pounds. This one doesn't say anything. I tightened them both the same. Just hand tightened them. Nothing crazy. Anyway, that's it for that. I'll put a link in the description for that part. And uh, thank you for the wife for holding the vacuum. Um, I was going to say a joke, but whatever. I going to say vacuums. <laughs> Never mind. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What you guys want to see. You want to see something different. This jack good jack to get. I guess. Thanks for watching. Later.